All right, here we go. Bout number four. So once again, two undefeated. This is actually a fight. I'm, uh, it should be really good. As if you're a grappling fan, a grappling purist, you're gonna love this fight. I always like when you have undefeated fighters going against each yeah. other because then it's, you just have a little more hoopspa. Yeah, like like you said, you don't want to lose that. You don't want to lose. Once you've lost, then it's a little easier to give up in the future. I'll say this about uh, Quinones as well. He looks a lot better physically than I saw him in his last fight. Okay. Looks like he put on a little muscle. What weight are we at here for this one? I believe we're at 170. This is 70, okay. And his opponent in the red corner, also holding a record of one win and no losses. He's standing six feet tall. Well, 165, 165 catch, I guess. Pounds. Okay. And has an MMA fighting style. He's fighting out of Rochester, Minnesota. And representing Mario Roberto Jiu-Jitsu. Ladies Says and here, gentlemen, Michael, teaches, Michael uh, uh, youth Ken anti bullying program. That's, that's nice. I've got that no is. tolerance for bullies, and that just irritates me. So Meat sauce to, was a bully, but don't hold it against uh, well, it's, Yeah, that was, We'll take actually, them all back later. Yeah. I don't think I was. Yeah, no, it may be. <laughs> <laughs> you look at it now, and it's such a massive problem. It, it is. really is. It's yeah. really blown up. Start around the one lefty here. here too. I'm a southpaw, so I'm biased against lefties. Oh, there you go. Or biased for them, I should say. Both guys are in great shape physically. Yeah, they are. You know, coming out of Mario Roberto's gym, Quinones, you probably wouldn't expect the best stand-up, but uh, no, but they're well-rounded there. They Mario are. knows what he's doing. He's a very smart guy, being the doctor, so for sure. And yeah. he's got a lot of good training partners. Obviously, yeah. Tommy Spear and, and one guy that's on the rise right now, Chad Curry, probably considered the best 155-pound yeah. so amateur prospect. In anyone out of that gym will be well-rounded. Absolutely. So I mean, jujitsu base, but well-rounded. Quick hands. Yeah. Pop, 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 pop. Both in incredible shape. Yep. It's, yeah, he's strong too. A little faster and a little stronger. Beat a southpaw with a left hand, right hook. Bang, bang. Quinona's nice back. takedown. Nice. Yeah, this is where uh, Dave likes to be. Yeah. Comes from a wrestling background, yeah. wrestling family. But uh, you know, obviously Mario Berto guy, he's got to feel comfortable, comfortable in guard. Back. Yep. But MMA, you'd rather be on top. Uh, yep. Always. Yeah. Greg Nelson, when you're in the bottom, said you should. Submit, sweep, or stand up. Yep. There's nothing good that can happen to you on the bottom. Yeah. Just jujitsu tournaments and other stuff, it's different. But MMA with the little gloves. Yeah, four ounce gloves, I mean. Be on know. top. I want to be on top punching people. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> that's what I prefer. Dave Zinda last saw action uh, uh, back in May of 2012. He tried for a triangle here. Watch this. He's stuffing that wrist. He's going to try for a. Yeah, we actually didn't interrupt you. Sorry about oh, that. Oh no, 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 no problem at all. We actually triangle saw right there. Triangle. There you go. Yep. Big. He was setting it up. He was setting it up. He was setting it up. It's good posture, though. Yep. Nope. We actually saw it a lot in uh, his most recent fight with Jake Newland at the Hyatt earlier this year. He's working good on that work. triangle. Yep. He fought out of it, and it's good grounded pound. Pinned him up. Gets the fence. Good action here. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yep, flattening his hips out a little bit. Body, body, head. That's a Dave Binet's old school. Dave Binet, Mark yeah. Coleman, body, body, yep. head. There we go, there we go. Back to his feet. Now, no, there are no knees anywhere on the ground or standing. It's amateur, amateur knees or elbows, right? For no, yep, absolutely. Amateur? Yep, no knees or elbows. Gotcha. Turned him. Oof. Oh, wow. Banged his head off. Though. Yeah. Both these guys are strong, but Dave just got a little more of that wrestling strength, I think. Yeah, I agree. A little more of that explosiveness. Yeah. Both these guys up here in age for amateurs. Uh, Dave's 30 years old. Uh, Quinones is 29. Okay, yeah. But still relatively But nowadays, yeah, you the body will... With training methods and nutrition, the body yep. will run at a high level for a long time. So. I mean, Randy Couture, for example, didn't yes. start fighting until when? He was 30? Yeah, and he still I mean, keeps himself in yep. shape. It out happens. Yeah. Train smart, train right. Don't be an idiot. Good first round there. Who wow. do you give it to, Lance? Uh, I'd say Dave because he did a little more. I think the takedowns and a little top game. So, 10-9. What do you yeah, think, I, Meat Sauce? I, I, uh, yeah, Dave went at him right away, and Dave was the aggressor. In the fight, the the, uh, the Green Bay tattoo still bothers me. But <laughs> yeah, <right? laughs> I put my bias away, so yeah. I've got to just. I, yeah, I go Dave. Dave. Dave won that round. I will third that actually. Nice. The next round is brought to you by Taco Loco. 
offering Ooh. the best authentic Mexican food in Minnesota. Taco Loco is located on 155 First Avenue East Shakopee near downtown. Less than a mile from Valley Fair. For menu options and hours of operation, visit tacolocoshakopee.com. Drew, I know you would... Jay, like Taco oh, Loco. That's it, you guys' spot, right? Cannot get I've enough. I've got to join you guys over there sometime. you got to check it out. We'll Most hit up Valley Fair someday. Let's do that. Taco Loco? Yeah. I haven't either. I've heard a lot about it. Soon enough. Let's th get the boys together. Now we're talking. Start a round two here. Ooh. 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 <laughs> that would have been. What would you call that kick there, uh, Lance? So I don't know. It's a bit of a spitty back kick, I think, yeah. somehow. Looks like this Geechee might be tight. Might be. It's under the chin. Yeah. Looks like he has an arm in, too. Blood rushes to the head. Yeah, he's yeah, out. He's out. Good job by Dave. Any of those spitty kicks, centripetal force, are tough. If the chance to get taken down, but if they yeah. land, they can be very violent. It's basically oh, like yeah. swinging for a home run. That's exactly. Uh, I, don't, I don't like it because you expose down. yourself. You expose your back. You can take your eyes off your opponent for a little yeah. bit. But the right time, the right place, there's a place for every technique. And I should actually note, uh, he, he listed his favorite striking technique as the turn back side kick. So that, maybe that's that's what probably what it was, I yeah. think, yeah. Drew, I know you were practicing a little earlier, right? The I was. Side kick. Well, I was more working on the Hulk Hogan front kick. Oh, is that what it was? I saw you in the rig earlier yeah. moving around, well. so I was wondering. Yeah. Just a little better wrestler, yeah. a little stronger, ragdolling him a little bit. Dave doing a good job keeping him on the ground here, keeping his head against the fence, too, also smart. Yeah. Very nice. Nice. Stop. Nice. Here we go. Jonah's breathing with his mouth yeah, open a bit. Yeah, Michael's breathing a little hard. And he's a little too Nick aggressive. Loves the yeah, step it over. Yeah, he is an absolute ground guy. If, and if Michael wanted to keep it on his feet, it's like he needs to settle back a little bit. He's a little too aggressive. He's rushing in, getting taken out here. Oh, he's going for triangle again, though. Yeah, there he's you go. A, he's got a high guard. He's in his corner, telling him to sit back. Yep. Good yeah. advice. You gotta pull the head down, you gotta pull the head down, you gotta break him down. And he's almost locked in. And there you go. He's gotta bring it across though. He's gotta bring that arm across. He yep. also has to uh, hook that ankle or knee. Yep, yep. To prevent a uh, slam. Yep. He should probably concentrate on the arm a little bit. Yep, we should. Trying to soften him up again. I mean, it's if you were able to throw elbows, it's probably be a a lot different. Uh, yeah. You'll see a guy like Travis Redinger use his elbows a lot. Yeah, he needs to hook that leg. He's hooked yeah. that leg. He's a little, there he got a little tighter there. There he goes. There he goes. He's got the angle now. He's got to pass that right hand across. Straight your hips, pass it across, crunch it back in, pull the head. He's got him. Absolutely. Maybe. 30 seconds left in the round. Actually, 20 seconds left in the round. Let's go get out of it. Ten seconds left in the round. A few technical errors by Baiko. Yeah. And this reminds me again, like his first fight, he fought for us earlier this year. He came so close on so, so many uh, so many submissions. He wasn't able to close on He should have had that one. He just did I a few so things. Too. Technical errors. He didn't get a tip to the side. Yep. He didn't get a little higher up. He didn't pass that arbor cross. He would have finished Every that. One of these fights is that's good matchmaking ah, right there. This is great matchmaking. So I think we can all agree 10-9 again, Dave Zinda? Yep. Yeah. But those submission attempts weigh, so I would they take 10-9, yes. But yep. Michael, Michael's got a shot to tap him if he stays composed. I think you're right. I mean, I mean Dave's acceptable to triangles, as a lot of wrestlers are, and he's been trying them and trying them and trying them. I would not be surprised if Michael catches him a triangle this next round. 30 seconds. How long do you get between rounds? A what, minute. One minute. Like we talked about, those breasts, relax. Get your wind, get a quick sip of water, get a couple instructions. Michael looks pretty tired coming out here for the third he round. He does. But he looks focused, though. He so. does. Very confident still. Yeah. Mario looks confident in his corner. Yeah. Mario, a fighter in his own right, retired yes. undefeated. He fought some pretty epic uh, Iron Man matches himself back in the day. I believe he fought uh, Jeremy Horn he did, for about 45 he? minutes straight. <laughs> he did. Here we go, start of round three. Both guys in the black trunks. Quinones with the uh, yep. blue logo on the back. Pace has slowed down considerably. Yeah, by both guys. Yep. Mike doing a good job Beats controlling the center, though. to your point, that conditioning, yeah. it reveals itself in the third round. 
Oh, Ooh, nice, nice. Nice inside he light kick he there. He him a little bit, too. Yeah, he's he looks a little, Doesn't a little he? wobbly. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's ah, oh, you heard him again. Oh, that just missed. That did. Good takedown again by Dave. Yes. See if he improves his position to hat our side. No. Nope. Back to guard. And we'll see if Mike can uh, frame up for that triangle again like we saw in the first two rounds. Yep. He starts grabbing a wrist and stuffs that wrist. And that's why when you're it's in like guard, anytime they're on your hands, that yellow light should go on, warding, warding your danger. Looks like Michael's actually trying to isolate uh, Zinda's left arm here a little bit. Okay. Oh, let it go. See if Mike can bounce his way back up like he did in the second yeah, round. Yeah, right off the hips, yeah. Boy, yeah. Mike looks tired. He, I would say he looks winded, he really does. He's trying to find any kind of way to move out. Yep, he's trying to create a little space. You need space to make your hips move on the bottom to get any submission, so. As Dave wants to just crunch him and then bag him out, keep him compacted, keep him tight. Deep exhale there by Michael. Yeah. He's tired. Yeah, that's tough for the guy on top of you, grinding good. You know, I don't like to uh, criticize the referees too much. If I'm the ref at this point, third round, Stand I'm up. standing him up. I'm with yeah. you. Dave's not trying to improve like his position. I like to see action. I'm with you. You just got to do it. That's yep. what the fans want to see, too. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. It's a win exactly. Yeah, he's trying to isolate that arm again. Kimura, baby. Yeah. There's gotta be something else on the air you can watch two people laying on the ground. You yeah, know, right. Do yeah, triangle, get to his do triangle. Yep, he hasn't framed he's up for the triangle. He's on that wrist. Zinda's not, you know, he's not ground and pounding. He's got a foot of the cage, he can kick off the cage too. Michael's just trying to survive. Yep, yep. But he's working that yeah, arm a little bit. He's got that left arm, either a Kimura or a triangle. 30 seconds left in the first round, or third round, I should say. Not enough time left. No. Dave is, in my opinion, doing enough to win yeah, this thing. Yeah, I agree. He's grinded out. It's, it's you know, wrestlers are wrestlers. Yeah. A win's a win. And yep. That's all, that's all that matters. Yep, that's all that matters. End of the day, did you win, did you lose? Yep. Well. The longer you can keep a zero on the right side of that yes. record, the better you Exactly. Are. Like they say in top crowd, second place is in the ladies' room. Yeah, well, I'm going to use that. I'm yeah, right? <laughs> you can have it. I like that. That's Tom Cruise. <laughs> End of the fight. Good grappling matchup. Yeah. What do you guys have at score? Uh, two water, three zero for Dave. I've got Dave winning the fight yeah, for I sure. Mike did He tried those submissions, but yeah. Dave countered them and neutralized them. And Dave took advantage of everything. You know, Ben Pearson actually just pointed it out to me. He said it might be the first fight he's ever seen where a guy is going to win it without even throwing a punch or landing a punch. He didn't land the punch, I don't huh? think he landed a punch. Brent's pretty adamant about it. Wow, I, I believe him. I trust him. Yeah. Oh, Quinona's looking somewhat confident in the corner. Uh, I mean, I can't imagine he... Although, I, you know, there, we do have certain judges in Minnesota, I've noticed, who will score it for a guy who's going for submissions off his back if the guy on top Oh, I thought you were going to say based on the Green Bay tattoo. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. no, I probably have one or two like that yeah, as well. But. He's down 10 nine just to start the run. Yeah, the exactly. Off for that thing. <laughs> That's not the deciding factor. No. Yeah. No, I mean, if we're going to score it the right way, I've got Dave winning this thing. I, mean, I agree. He won. Yep. Might have been around there. You could have given to Mike. Maybe the last one, possibly. For, yep. Ultimately, he controlled the fight. He controlled the, where the fight took place. And he did the board to have it. So, hope we continue with the streak of the proper decisions. Yep. This is great we're at the Beth. This is great Jeremy put this together. Yeah. And finally. I mean, it's outside of Target Center, I'd say this is easily the most, not just historic, but I, I think the, the sort of the mecca for MMA it's here in Minnesota. It's a perfect venue to fight for. I fought here maybe four times yep. or so with the multi-level, and it's just a great place to fight. And the environment, the atmosphere, I really like the Yeah, Beth. it's great. It is. 
sort of like a mini big show type That's of exactly. atmosphere. You it got the lights like and that. Up, up to Mike Mishuk for the decision. We have a split decision. Very oh, wow. interesting. Judge Andy Kemp scoring in about 30 27. Judge Doug Mayling scoring in about 29 28. And Judge Kristen Nielsen scoring in about 29 28. And again, the winner by split decision. Dave, the Polish right. Mongoose I'd be curious who the 3027 was uh, for. I know you Andy know, Kemp's actually. 327 is for Dave, so that. Oh, he, was he's it? Okay. Get three. Gotcha. 29 28 for uh, Michael. So. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> yeah, you know.